In this video, I'll show you how to import SRT or ASS subtitles in Kden Live. Kden Live is a free video editor that is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you are on any of those platforms, kindly follow along. I believe the process is the same. So let's assume you've made an edits to your videos and you want to add subtitles. That is, you outsource the subtitles and now you have the SRT or the ASS subtitle file. So I'll begin by adding in a video that I have subtitles uh, for. Let's just add this video. Then we can actually switch the profile to match that. We can just have it here. The video is on uh, video track one and the audio is on audio track two. So let's import our SRT or .ass subtitle uh, file. So we go to project, subtitles, and then click on import subtitle file. Click on that. And then you'll get this dialog box where you need uh, to navigate to the folder with the subtitle you want to import. Just click on that to navigate this particular open dialog file dialog. And then you can pick the subtitle that you want. The first subtitle I have here is an SRT subtitle file. The second one I, uh, file I have here is a .ass subtitle file or an advanced substation alpha subtitle uh, that uh, with this you can add formatting, uh, backgrounds, etc. With the SRT, the only few things you can do is just positioning and potentially some few colors. So let's just click on this, the one with positioning, and then click on open. Once you click on open, uh, it's going to populate here, and then you can check the import at timeline cursor position if your subtitle begins at the, uh, at the start. But when we look at this section, the first, the initial section here is silent. The waveform comes down here. So I'll just click OK so that it can import the timestamps. And therefore, when we look at this, uh, you'll notice that it begins at almost this particular position. Yes, just right about there. Therefore, uh, it is important to always make sure that uh, you, ch uh, you get that uh, section correct. So uh, what we'll need to do now is you can just click on any section here. We click on that. Uh, and you'll see the subtitles are up, are up here. So if I click on one subtitle and then look at the subtitle interface, this is what was picked from subtitle edit, the subtitling uh, application I used to create the subtitle. And when you look at the next one, it's down here. You can click on it. And then we look at this other one. It's down here as well. We look at another one. It's up there. Really depends on what you're looking for. Now, the SRT subtitle file would be good but if you wanted to add a background to your subtitle working with advanced substation alpha subtitles would be awesome because the formats supported by Kden Live are just subtitle uh, SRT that is a subrip subtitle file or .ass which is an advanced substation alpha subtitle or .ssa substation alpha subtitles so let's assume all you wanted to do was import an SRT or a .ass subtitle file from somebody or from a service you've hired to create the SRT for you and you want to ban it to your video, then to ban or render your video, just click on project, render. And then from here, you'll actually choose where you want the output to be. And then you can change from WebM to MP4 and it changes. You can title it whatever name you want. Let's let's call it uh, Kden Live. And it goes to the folder for, for videos and then uh, the full project. And once you're done, click on render to file. Once I click on that, it begins the rendering process. Really depends on how big your project is, how powerful your machine is. Uh, that is the time it takes for it to render out this particular video with the subtitles banned in to the video. But one of the things I'd say is that Kden Live for being a free video editor that supports importing and exporting of SRT subtitles, uh, importing of .ass subtitles is really awesome because most of the paid applications out there only support SRT. And for uh, .ass, it's, uh, you can do so many manipulations to the style, to the background, to everything that you want. So I hope that the paid applications, Premiere Pro, Camtasia can pick up on this. So our video is almost done. Uh, there we go. It has finished. 
you can clean up uh, do whatever you want but let's navigate and look at the video it's in the videos and here's the video if I just double click on it we'll you'll see the subtitles are, are up here there isn't update on the YouTube interface it's now easier than before to and the rest goes are down here and so on and so forth so that is how you can import an SRT file or .ass subtitle file into Kden Live that's available for Windows, Mac and Linux and then ban the subtitles to the video so that you can maybe share with somebody or anything of that sort. That's it from me. My name is David. I hope this video has been of value to you. Thanks for watching.